Uh, hi. I'm going to demonstrate um, um, an app um, called Casio G-Shock uh, Smart Sync app, which basically um, makes your traditional Casio G-Shock watch uh, into a semi-smart watch, right? And um, this will be a clean installation. We're going to start from scratch. You can download it from the Google Play Store, uh, from, from the F-Droid Store, or you can even build it from sources. It's in, um, in the GitHub. So you can download sources and build it. So let's get started. Um, uh, we'll explain how it works. Um, so we can go to, we can just search for it for G-Shock and it will come here. You can find it here and we can install it. And so as you can see, this is not an official Casio app. It is a third party app. So here it is, it's installed. So we can just go ahead and start it. Um, we have to give it some permission and starts with a um, the initial screen. So um, basically the app works by connecting to your watch through Bluetooth and um, and then once it's connected, it will go to the next screen and we can we can see what it can provide for us. Um, there's two ways to connect. One is through the lower right button for um, a quick um, a quick connection and perform some action. We're going to talk about actions later. Or the normal way of connecting it is through the lower left button. You hold it for three seconds and it will connect and it will go to the next screen. So let's do that. Uh, on my watch here, I'm pressing the lower left button and holding it uh, after the second beep, it will connect. There it's connected. And here we have the main screen. Here we can set the time and the timer. Um, so the general, a general rule about this app is that it will, the, the user is in full control. So in order for something to happen, the user has to press a button. Uh, it will not go and change, you know, set times for you automatically or anything like that. So, uh, just to set the time, we just press this button and uh, it will send the the time of your phone to the watch, right? 546. Um, and it also shows you the um, your current time zone. Uh, after setting the time, it will also set your home time to the current time zone. So, if the watch gets synced from the atomic clocks, it will set the correct time. So if you if you're traveling somewhere, then you um, you set your, your time to the to the time of that location. Uh, if the watch syncs from the atomic clock, it will set it will have the right time. It won't be um, the wrong time. When you get back home, you can you can, you, you can do this again, and it, it will come back to your to your home time. Um, yeah. So another thing you can do is you can set the timer. So basically, uh, you just press over the numbers here, and you can enter. Let's say for example five minutes for that and again you 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 sense the watch right that's it um yeah this screen also shows you the battery level and the name of the watch uh sorry the name yeah the name of the watch in my case is the casio gw 5600 you may have a different watch so um this app doesn't support all the all the casio watches it, it supports the, the, the square G Shocks 5600 and 5000 series. Uh, it's in the description below um, on the video, as you can see it. So let's go to the next screen, which is the alarms. So um, here there's two alarms uh, set on the watch, and the app picked it up and displayed it the first and second alarm. Uh, of course, you can go ahead and change it or modify them. I'm going to modify the third alarm. Um, again, I press over the numbers all the time and I can change it say to 12 uh, 30 or whatever um, say okay to that and then um, okay it's a.m. so it's uh, the space is 0 30 um, and then I can enable the alarm by uh, enable it with that and when I'm happy I can just press the send to watch button and it will send it uh, you can also um, turn on and off the chime uh, which is you know the beep every hour um, so I'm going to turn it off for now and um, I'm going to send it to the watch. Um, 
another, another thing you can do is you can um, send the same alarms to your phone. Um, there's a, a standard alarms app with every Android phone and um, if you wanted to set the same alarms to that to that app, you can just uh, do send to phone. And the same uh, alarms that are enabled will be sent to, to, your, to your phone alarm. So now they're in sync. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to um, events. Um, so basically this is a Google event that you can set up in your Google Calendar. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't enter them here, I entered them in Google Calendar and they appear um, you know, they appear um, here in the list. Uh, and what you can do is you can send these, these events to your watch reminders. So um, you can, um, so whatever you entered in, this, uh, in the calendar, uh, you can send it to your watch reminders. So just to, um, to see how it works, I'm going to send, uh, set another event in my Google Calendar. Let's say it has to be future, of course, to show up. So um, let's say at 10 a.m. I want to say go to gym. And I want to have a custom um, schedule. For example, I want it every week on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and let's say I want it to repeat for um, um, say 10 times. Okay, 10 occurrences. Uh, so that's it. I just, I'm done and then I save it. Right? And then I go back to my app. So I need to refresh it. I just change the screens and come back and there it is. I go to gym from October 6th to the December the 8th, Tuesday and Thursday. So this, uh, this event will be repeated. So when I'm happy, I just send to watch and uh, that's it, I'm done with this. Okay, so next thing, I'm uh, let's leave um, actions for later. I'm going to go to, to settings. So this is the last screen, I'm just pressing on settings. <clears throat> So here you can set different parameters for your watch or different configuration for your watch. Um, so the time format, which either 12 hours and two, or 24 hours, I'm gonna set it to 24 hours, uh, month, month, day, day, um, or day, day, month, month. Um, in North America is month and day. In the rest of the world is day, month. I set to that. Uh, this will be the language for the day of the week on the watch. So these are things like that. Um, the the button operation tone is uh, whether we want um, the watch to beep when you press a button on it, right? You can make it silent or you can do this. Um, auto light um, and then power setting mode, right? You want it on or off. So that's it. We can just send this to the watch now, but uh, there's also another feature where you can auto fill these values. So if I press on auto fill, it will pick up the values from your from your um, from your phone. For example, your, your phone is set up for 12 hours or month day. It will pick it up. It will pick up the language. The button operation tone will be set um, normally on, so it will be set to on uh, unless your phone is in do not disturb mode, and then it will be set to off. And the power saving mode um, this won't change unless your battery on your watch is less than 15 percent equal less than 15% and if it is then it will, it will turn on automatically right so then when I'm happy I'm happy I just send it to my watch and that's it um, so let's go to actions so um, now for actions uh, we do different things on <clears throat> on the phone so we have to give them more permission um, you you see when we get to it so I, I have to uh, I'm just gonna allow this um, so actions are basically commands or actions you can run on your phone by pressing the lower right button um, on your watch. So if you want to run something on your phone, for example, you want to set the time, just by short pressing the lower right button, the phone will set, will connect and it will set the time on the watch. 
Uh, you can do the reminders. Uh, there are other things you can do. For example, you can um, you can take a photo if you wanted to. So let's say um, I want to take a group picture. Uh, so I just I just position the uh, you know the phone uh, to take the picture, and then I um, I can just press um, the, you know the lower right button on my watch, and we'll take a picture. Or if you want to take a picture of a bird or something like that, you can. Um, you can perch your your phone on a branch, for example, and you can uh, you can take a remote picture by uh, from from your watch again. I uh, can toggle the flashlight. Um, uh, uh, so the last one is um, emergency action, which um, for, for, you can if you can enter a phone number here, and then um, if you are into an accident or something like that, and you are not able to operate your phone, you can just um, you know, press a, a button, this this little right button on your watch, and then it, the phone will dial for you, the, the number that you've entered. Uh, yeah, I don't think Google will let you enter 911 emergency numbers, but um, so you can call your friend or something like that. So that's for emergency. Um, so that is basically a quick overview of this app. Um, uh, some details about where to download it is listed under the video and also what what uh, watches are supported um, so to disconnect you just press any button on your on your phone oh sorry on your watch and um, it will disconnect so we're, yes so we're back to the to the initial screen and you can see the lower right button here did for for action so you just short press it it will run the action that you've selected and then it will disconnect automatically. So that's basically it. Um, you can get help throughout the app by pressing on the question mark. Um, so the different screens will give you different help, of course. Uh, so that's it for the, for the demo. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.